Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Severely ill eight-year-old writes book for sick kids. Has no idea Trump is on his way. A young boy going through some issues with kidney disease has already found himself at the mercy of numerous painful surgeries. However, his struggles have propelled him to push through his illness and find the power and strength needed to make others enjoy their life a bit more. His name is Ashton and he's already written and published a book. He's only eight years old and has accomplished something that most others could only dream of. That's a remarkable achievement for someone so young. His success as an author provided plenty of joy to keep him happy, but then something else happened. He got to meet President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump. They somehow found out about the young scholarly author and made a visit to the hospital where the boy was staying. Could you believe what happened next? They paid a visit to Ashton and he put a copy of the book right in their hands. It was a fun thing for Ashton because he got to meet the President of the United States of America. Isn't that great? He's only eight years old, an established author, and has already met the President and First Lady of our country. Most people are just trying to figure out what size coffee they want in the morning, but not Ashton. He's busy doing big people things like writing books and shaking hands with the president. Not bad for a kid in elementary school. This is the positive news that the mainstream media should focus on. Can you imagine if this was one of the big stories on Facebook instead of all the negative press that is being shared? This is worth sharing more than any political story you see today. Our country has become so focused on all the negative news that we tend to forget about the positive things going on all around us. Share more positive news, just for one day, and see how the people enjoy it. You'll notice a big difference. What else can you do to brighten someone's day? A visit from the president? Write your own book? Share some good news? Liftable wrote more about Ashton and his triumphs. Meet Ashton Zari, an eight-year-old West Virginia boy who has already accomplished some impressive feats in his young life. Ashton has bravely persevered through chronic kidney disease and painful surgeries, using his pain as a catalyst to help others. Hoping to encourage other medically fragile kids, Ashton has written and published his first book, How I Became a Superhero. And, now, Ashton can check off one of his biggest feats yet, placing his book into the hands of President Donald Trump. Ashton is a patient at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. He caught wind that the president and first lady would be visiting the hospital, and told his mom how much he would like to meet the president. Ashton's mother, Amanda Zari, didn't want to get her son's hopes up too high, but figured she could at least try to make it happen for her little boy. As a mama, I try to help Ashton set realistic goals, and it was hard not to discourage him, Zari told 59 News. Zari credits her son's rock star nurse for helping to make the hopeful meeting into a reality. On August 24, the nurse spoke with key people on her floor, and the group of nursing staff plus presidential staff were ultimately able to orchestrate the meeting between Ashton, Trump, and First Lady Melania Trump. It was a dream come true for a courageous little boy, placing his children's book into the hands of the president himself. Zari was overwhelmed with the compassion, kindness, and authenticity the Trumps showed to her son. This was an experience I am struggling with finding adequate words to sum up, Zari said. President Trump was kind and empathetic. He spent time engaging with Ashton, asking him about his book, and even calling him a young entrepreneur, she said. He was genuinely interested in Ashton's health and asked many questions about Nationwide Children's Hospital and the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Central Ohio. Zari said the meeting was something she had never imagined would have happened for Ashton, but the visit left her feeling humbled and grateful. The First Lady has the kindest voice and smile possibly of anyone I ever met, Zari continued. She spent time looking through Ashton's book and commenting on the various illustrations, the workmanship, and she told him what a great job he did. The First Lady even helped cast a vision for Ashton's near future by asking him when he planned on writing his next book. Since the visit, Ashton has remained hospitalized while he recovers from reconstructive surgery on his bladder and bowel, but hopes he is discharged later this week. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.